This video is on wingless aircraft. This is hot crap, okay? This is kind of cool. I'm liking this one. Whoops. Um, wingless uh, aircraft. I'll fix that in a second. Okay. Wingless aircraft. Now, we, you finally, you humans, have finally um, learned how to control the thrust of your air flying vehicles using uh, thrust vectoring. Uh, take that a step further. Instead of needing to vector it out the back end to make things move, what I'm trying to accomplish with this is basically removing the wings altogether. You got your jet. I'm going to do a crude drawing of it. It's going to come out a little bit. More towards the very front. I probably should put a little bit more distance on it, but this this will simulate it good enough because I need to do a side view really to, to get this what you want. Now, this is going to be the top portion. We'll worry about the back later. Back end of the jet. For now, we'll just keep it. We're still going to have uh, rear uh, for us, you're still going to have the wings, you're still going to have the wings in the back, and, you know, the, the thrust coming off the back. But right here, uh, instead of wings, what you do is you're going to have, this is going to be a, uh, this is a top view. This is a very elongated uh, wing. The, length of the lengths right now, we're not going to worry about so much. We're just worried about the concept of how do we achieve wingless aircraft. For now we're just going to keep the back tail fins for the rudders, and of course you got the thing right here, the, the fin on top to help, you know, keep stabilized, or this the dual in the back, whatever. We're not worried about that right now. We're just, this part right here for the wings, the main wings, okay? Uh, the, it's going to go down actually at an angle. I need to get the angle thing. That's a good start. It'll help me get the angle right. And we'll go ahead and change that one too. So what we're going to do is flat plane, not a plane as an airplane, but flat plane of air being shot out from the vehicle. Like this. I think we'll go down with this and bring it back up. And so what you got is also within, now it's good, the wings, there's certain, could be a certain amount of wing because we need to shoot the air out to the sides to create a flat plane of air on which this vehicle is going to fly. Okay? So what's going to happen is a side view, like this, you're going to have this long, thin, very, very shallow vent. And it's going to be like this. What's going to happen is the air is going to flow out like this. So that as thrust is pushing the vehicle forward, you've also got some of that being shunted through the sides and the wings through these vents. Really, it would be just a flat, it would just be one long flat vent, but to help direct the air towards, a little bit towards the back to help give it thrust, as well as providing a plane of air on which to fly. The air is going to be flying out of here. And that air flying out in a flat plane is what's going to create the wing. It's going to be like an air wing shooting out of the, the side of the vehicle. So this is a top view, this is a side view. I forgot to put the little dude's area right here where he's going to be at. So that's pretty much it. Wingless aircraft. Um, I don't know if we want to replace these back wings yet with anything like this, but part of the thrust, just like uh, you got jets that can, um, the jets that can, uh, you know, you got little vents coming out the bottom and, and can lift the, the jet up off the ground like the Harrier jump jets. Carrier jump jets have the jets in the underneath that can blow down. Well, why can't we blow air out the side and create a flat plane of air on which to fly? So that's the idea of that.